Welcome to the next Southern Commons website uh, lesson. Um, in this lesson we're going to learn how to insert an image, existing image, onto an existing web page. So we're going to assume here that you've already logged on to the administrator panel and you've clicked on articles and gone to the article manager. Um, and you've decided to edit the yoga page and you want to add a new image to the yoga page. The editor comes up. Um, simply just click where you want to insert the image. Let's say I want to insert it. Uh, basically, I'm going to want the image to appear over here on the right hand side next to around here. But to do that I click um, basically here before about your instructor scroll down the bottom I click the image icon link here. You could try to do this by using the image link here but don't get the two confused. This one is mainly if you want to pull in a image from an existing website or you already know the web um, the image um, website address. But in our case we don't, we just know that we want to insert an image so I'm going to click the image button. This brings up the Joomla gallery um, directory listing under the stories folder which is where it's all stored and you can see that we've um, got different folders to store is it just a way of categorizing where some of our um, images are so in this case we're just going to for some reason um, insert a garden image on the yoga page so as you click those folders um, it shows you the images that are inside there and to go back up to see all the folders again you just click the up button um, and this time we're just going to select seedlings as you click on the image that the image URL appears here so this is the address for the image give it a description to help search engines find it or people with um, sight um, disabilities so we're just going to pour it um, garden seedlings this text doesn't won't actually appear on your website unless you I think tick the caption option but it does appear kind of underneath the scene so if you view the actual code on the web page it is in there. Once you've typed those in you can change these, they can be different text but just for simplicity we've kept it the same. Uh, then just click the insert button and bang your image appears. So it not, may not be where you want or it may not be the size you want. To resize your image simply click once on the image and then use um, the boxes around the sides and the corners to drag it into the shape and size that you want. Um, so the corners are good because it keeps the image in perspective, height and width, so that's always nice. We want the image to display on the right hand side of the page. The way to do that is again click once on the image then click the little image icon on your toolbar and then simply change the alignment to the right and uh, click OK and you're done. You could also change the image size here or add a border or some spacing around your image between the image and the text. Play around with these options to get that to happen. Then um, click uh, OK. Image is on the right. Let's say that's how you want it to look. Um, doesn't look very good to me, but uh, never mind, that looks like it's centered. Let's move that across to the left. Done. Click uh, Save, or we could click Preview even. I don't find the preview that great, but it does, um, without saving it, it does give you an idea of how it's going to look. Uh, in my case, because I know it's pretty easy to undo, we're just going to save the article. After you've inserted your image, always go back and make sure um, that your change has taken place. In this case the change is not showing because uh, I used the back arrow. Uh, generally you need to refresh your browser window if you're already looking at the Commons web page. To do that for Firefox you just press F5. If all that's too hard uh, just close the window down, start a new um, tab, sorry, start close the tab down and just start a new one commons.org.au and then navigate to the yoga page 
and it will go and get a new copy of the web page. Um, often web pages are cached, which means a local copy of the web page is stored on your computer and it doesn't go back out to the internet to get the new copy. So you can see here we've got our image all looking beautiful and as we scroll on top of the image you can see garden seedlings appear. So that was the um, text that we typed in earlier. Great, so in this lesson we've learned how to very simply insert a image onto the Commons website. You can uh, alternatively, I think, also center images as well if you want to play around with those things. You can also drop and drag images. So you can simply just grab this image and um, drag it somewhere else. Um, you can then uh, change the alignment here to uh, not set and then all of a sudden these come into play. So feel free to have a play around and enjoy.